Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you this week, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Okay, the Ace of Swords. All right, very nice. All right, and what is the advice for Taurus? The Knight of Pentacles and the outcome, the moon. Okay, so without all of the distraction, you can finally see clear now. You finally get it. You understand something. You're wondering if you really cut a, a good person off or out. Or maybe you're wondering that may, you're finally seeing that you were the good person. You you did show up in the better capacity in some relationship. Maybe with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. You and this person were very different, okay? And you brought out maybe not the best sides of each other. You know, um, you made each other uncomfortable at times, you know, because one of you was just buck wow and the other one was a bit reserved or is a bit reserved or um, maybe has a, more of their life together or is more grounded, um, can have fun, but at the same time still stays grounded. Um, therefore, you make each other uncomfortable at times. Uh, you don't understand each other and your outlook on life. And it caused friction in a relationship. But you still love this person. And this person still loves you. You may even think about this person at night or vice versa. They think about you. Uh, they may even long for you. Um, different Around the different moon cycles, um, this person really feels your energy or you feel their energy. Um, you get really sad or you get very anxious or you don't understand why you feel this way about a particular person or you think about them often. Some of you aren't sleeping, you know, not well. Your sleep pattern is uh, kind of disturbed at this, at this time. You're not sleeping through the night. Somebody could just be projecting themselves on you, project, projecting this energy on you. Maybe even astral projection. Like when you sleep, your soul then starts to move around. You know, you go visit so-and-so over there, over yonder, you know, because you can't visit him when you're woke. So, <laughs> I don't know. You could be doing this or somebody else is doing this. With the boom card, it says that maybe you're lying to yourself about how you really feel about this person or, or vice versa. They could be lying to themselves about how you really feel about how they feel about you. There's a lot of lying to self. Therefore, then you tell lies to others. You guys are separated. This could be a relationship that's very cyclical. Like you, it goes in cycles where you, you're on and then you're off. You're on and then you're off. Um, when it gets too heavy, it gets too hot. Okay, we're off. Somebody is really grounded, really loyal, really dedicated, really devoted to you. Or this was how you showed up in a relationship, Taurus. It, it became a bit boring. But at the same time, you knew that this person is devoted they're dedicated they're loyal they're committed they're not going anywhere it's solid it's stable somebody wanted more of a commitment from you or vice versa this is what you wanted with the ace of swords it's like something happened i don't know if you cut them off or they cut you off or communication is cut off somebody made some irrevocable change i don't know if they said something to you that it, it maybe shut a door or, you know, for you in your mind or in your heart space where you're like, I can never go back because they did this or they said that. Why would they say that? But now you're at a place where you're, um, you're thinking clearly because there's no distraction. Or maybe this person feels this way. Like they can see clearly now because there is no distraction. There is no relationship. There is no sex. There is no coming together. There's no, um, you know, in and out, hot and cold. Yeah, I don't know if somebody could be moving on or the both of you have kind of like rationalized this moving on. If somebody's trying to move on in secrecy, not really tell you what they're doing, but they're just trying to just move on quietly. Maybe even because they didn't get what they wanted from you or vice versa. 
So it's kind of like they're moving on in shame too. Like, you know, maybe their ego is a bit bruised. Somebody felt like the other person played games or they are playing games. So it's like, okay, I got to move on because it's, it's too much game playing. I don't know what's going on. It's driving me nuts. I don't have time for it. Somebody's really trying to get over the previous heartbreak, you know, and they're trying to leave that self-sabotaging energy behind. Um, maybe overgiving, oversharing, placing value when there was no value, uh, devaluing people when they were very valuable. I don't know. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below if you uh, feel moved to do so. You can also find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come ask a question. You can also just come for the collective reading. Uh, we're doing something different on the live, so come show up. Um, also, you can donate to the channel. If you feel like this reading moved you, yes, donate. Buy me a coffee. Click the Buy Ella co Coffee link. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Take care.